Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the CD Guy, Johnny Z here. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Record Store Day is this Saturday, April 20th, and we're less than a week away now. There are a lot of exciting releases coming up, so don't go anywhere, because what I'm going to be doing today is giving you the ultimate rock guide to Record Store Day 2024. I'm going to run through the entire list of rock releases, so we have a moment to lose here. Let's get started. Kicking things off here with Playing Favorites by 10,000 Maniacs, recorded on September 13th, 2014 in Jamestown, New York. Playing Favorites features 14 tracks, including hits and fan favorites from the alternative rock group's storied and influential career. The six-piece band is augmented by strings, horns, backing vocalists, and more, making their lush sound even fuller and more engaging, all housed in a color gatefold jacket. I've enjoyed as much of this as I can stand by Acetone, recorded on the final night of their 1998 tour in support of the eponymous LP. The band pulled from all corners of their catalog here in a nearly 80 minute set. Previously unreleased and unheard, this two disc live concert will be available on limited edition clear vinyl numbered in trifold packaging. Journey to the Center of the Mind by Amboy Dukes. Finally, the stereotypes have surfaced. The Amboy Dukes combine hard rock and psychedelic mayhem into an early concept album, one that features Ted Nugent's heavy proto metal sound, produced by Bob Shad, pressed on glass colored vinyl. Travel back in time to August 3rd, 1975 for America Live at the Hollywood Bowl, featuring a symphony conducted by George Martin. The never-before-heard tapes have been recently remastered and feature live renditions of America's hits such as Sister Golden Hair, Horse With No Name, Ventura Highway, and more. This two-LP set is pressed on translucent, milky-clear vinyl, with a printed insert of the set list signed by the band exclusively available for Record Store Day 2024. In Casino Out, the long out-of-print sophomore album by the seminal El Paso, Texas band at the drive-in, featuring some great tracks here, some fan favorites like Napoleon Solo, Alpha Centauri as well. It's available on Purple and Green Smoke LP, and this album has been long out-of-print, like I said, so really cool to have this finally reissued. It was originally released in 1998. This next one is really cool. We have the Beatles Limited Edition Record Store Day Turntable, featuring Beatles branded dust cover and turntable facing. Each turntable is Bluetooth enabled and housed in a Beatles box that includes three inch records of four songs that were performed live 60 years ago on The Ed Sullivan Show, those being I Want to Hold Your Hand, Till There Was You, She Loves You, and I Saw Her Standing There as well. Each record is housed in an outer box with a picture sleeve and poster. The package also includes a Beatles branded carrying case, which holds up to 10 three inch records. The four songs are also available individually on three inch records if you don't want to buy the whole thing so that's really cool and the beatles kind of going all out here for record store day which i enjoy some really cool singles being released in addition to the record store day limited edition turntable and we'll get to some more beatles stuff in a little bit we've got some solo stuff to talk about but really cool stuff here for record store day with the limited edition turntable and those three inch singles as well Wanting and Waiting by the Black Crows. Of course, the Black Crows have just dropped their first studio album in 15 years, and here's the lead single, Wanting and Waiting, available now on 7-inch vinyl, as well as a previously unreleased B-side from the recording session entitled Morsels and Mongrels. Coming up next, we have Waiting in the Sky, Before the Starman Came to Earth by David Bowie. Taken from the Trident Studio stereo tapes dated on December 15th, 1971, which were created for the then provisional track listing for this album right here, Ziggy Stardust, The Rise of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Uh, so the track listing for Waiting in the Sky, Before the Starman Came to Earth, is differently from Ziggy Stardust and features four songs that didn't make the final album as well. So another really cool release here by the David Bowie camp. So I'm definitely looking forward to this one, definitely hoping to get my hands on it. Unfinished Business by Eric Carr features new Kiss makeup cover art in the fashion of Creatures of the Night and that album cover with a flashing light effect on its cover by pressing in between Eric Carr's eyes. So that's a really cool design there on the vinyl. It includes five never-before-released bonus demo tracks, a new comic book-style poster inside with printed inner sleeves that include rare photos as well and liner notes. So that's the deluxe edition. That's really cool. Personally, I'm going to be trying to get the CD version. It's also available on CD. So assuming I'm able to procure a copy of that on Record Store, day i will be unboxing it and reviewing it here on the channel so stay tuned for that
There's a couple here from Gene Clark. Uh, first off, we have Lost Studio Sessions, 1964 to 1982. This album introduces previously unreleased studio sessions from Clark's pre-Birds days in 1964 all the way to his reunion in 1982 with former bandmates Chris Hillman and Michael Clark as Night Flight. Since his passing in 1991, many of Gene Clark's home demo recordings and various live recordings have been released. Actual studio recordings were rare and their existence were rumor more than fact, right, until this release now, which is pretty cool. Limited edition pressing on translucent tan vinyl package in a gatefold sleeve, the 24-page color booklet, album notes, and rare photos included. This 24-track double LP set had a limited release in 2016 and is still extremely rare, so that's really cool. Another rarity there. And also being released, you have no other sessions. Uh, from 1974 featuring the album session track for the first time on vinyl. Bury the Hatchet, the complete sessions by the Cranberries. Of course, Bury the Hatchet, the fourth studio album by Irish alternative rock band The Cranberries, released in April of 1999. Uh, the album was gold certified and features the singles Promises, Animal Instinct, Just My Imagination, and You and Me. Now it's available on vinyl for the first time. The complete sessions edition features the original album plus five bonus tracks in the studio, all on two LPs. Well, speaking of the Cranberries, Dolores O'Riordan's 2007 debut solo album, Are You Listening, is being released for the first time on vinyl, exclusively for Record Store Day, on limited edition white vinyl. The Top by The Cure is the latest in a series of picture disc releases from The Cure. The Top celebrates 40 years of this album here. Cut from the 2006 remaster, The Top features The Caterpillar, Shake Dog Shake, Bird Mad Girl, and Dressing Up, among other fan favorites. This one's kind of cool. We have Out of Ashes by Dead by Sunrise, the supergroup fronted by the late great Chester Bennington of Linkin Park. Their only album, Out of Ashes, was released in 2009 on CD and digital and a very limited vinyl pressing in Europe, but this is the first vinyl pressing in North America pressed for Record Store Day on Black Ice Vinyl. That sounds beautiful. The original album has been expanded to include the track Morning After, previously a bonus track on the Japanese CD. Also included are five rare, unreleased acoustic songs performed live in Las Vegas. On the eve of the band's biggest ever European tour and the launch of the new album, Drastic Symphonies, Def Leppard streamed live from the iconic Sheffield venue, The Lead Mill. This set is one of the most intimate shows the band had ever played in the UK or Europe in 35 years, giving the band a chance to experience their stadium-style catalog in a special club setting. This is now available for Record Store Day as a double live album. The Doors Live at Stockholm features a live radio broadcast from September 20th, 1968, which has never before been given an official release. The comprehensive set includes rare performances of Mac the Knife, Love Street, and Your Lost Little Girl, great deep cut there. It's a great sounding recording and a great performance of The Doors during their infamous 1968 European tour with Jefferson Airplane. This is a limited edition picture disc edition of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's classic third album pictures at an exhibition here, and it's part of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's ongoing Record Store Day series, uh, releasing picture discs here. This disc features the original album artwork as well. Uh, I love this album, personally, one of my favorite Emerson, Lake, and Palmer records, and fun fact, unrelated to Record Store Day, but fun fact, I took a course one on classical music, wrote an essay on Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's usage uh, and rock adaptation of pictures at an exhibition by Russian composer Modest Mussorgsky, and I got an A, so Thanks, ELP. Faces Live at the BBC is the second set of highlights from the band's many memorable performances at the BBC over the years. Collected mostly from Top Gear and the David Lee Travis Show, this compilation highlights some of the best performances the band had in 1970. A great mix of some fan favorites, some rarer tracks as well, including the likes of Wicked Messenger, Shake, Shudder, Shiver, and Had Me a Real Good Time. Cabin Flounder is the debut album by North Carolina alternative rock band Fetch and Bones. Produced by Don Dixon at Mitch Easter's Drive-In Studio, this Record Store Day release marks the first time it's been released on vinyl since the original 1985 release on DB Records. Next, from Fleetwood Mac, we have Rumors being released on Picture Disc for the first time ever. There are a lot of really interesting Picture Disc releases coming out this year, so if you're a fan of those and you're a fan of collecting Picture Discs, there's definitely a lot to choose from. Of course, Rumors, 21 times platinum certified, released in 1977, but for the first time ever released on Picture Disc for Record Store Day.
Permission to Jam Live in New Orleans 1973 features all previously unreleased live material recorded over two shows at the warehouse in New Orleans with highlights chosen from both nights by drummer Roger Earl of Foghat. So that's really cool. This is the first live release from Foghat to feature the band's early era. Definitely very blues-based material with heavy use, uh, heavy use of slide guitar. So very interesting era there in the band's history and some really interesting live recordings being chosen for this release. We have the re-release of the self-titled debut album by Gandalf from 1969. Such a great mix here of proggy and experimental styles on this record. And this record store day 2024 release was created alongside band member Peter Sando, cut from the original analog master tapes in an all analog process. This also includes liner notes and photos by Peter Sando and pressed on limited edition lemongrass vinyl. I'm sure Deadheads will be out for Record Store Day with the release of Nightfall of Diamonds, the complete show from 10-16-1989, available now for the first time as a 4LP set featuring Dark Star, Addicts of My Life, and Uncle John's Band, as well as many more, mixed from the 24-track analog tapes and newly mastered by Jeffrey Norman. Dark Horse Records and Record Store Day are partnering up to release limited Zoe Trope picture disc pressings of George Harrison's entire studio album catalog. The first two titles in the Record Store Day exclusive series will be Wonderwall Music and Electric Sound. Limited to 8,000 units globally and exclusive to Record Store Day, each unit is individually numbered in silver foil and includes an insert reproducing the original artwork. Defiance Part 2 Fiction is the follow-up to Mata Hoople frontman Ian Hunter's 2023 album Defiance, featuring another stacked lineup here of guest musicians and appearances including the likes of Johnny Depp, Brian May, as well as some of the final studio recordings of Jeff Beck. This deluxe edition double LP set contains three exclusive bonus tracks and is pressed on translucent yellow vinyl. Iggy Pop and the Stooges performed a series of concerts to mark their comeback after a long period of inactivity. Those concerts during that time were praised for their raw energy and intensity, and this deluxe package includes color vinyl and OB spine and printed inner sleeve live at Luckers Day Fishton from 2005. It's never been released on vinyl until now. It's the 50th anniversary of Elton John's Caribou, and for the 50th anniversary, Record Store Day is releasing this double LP set on limited edition sky blue vinyl included in the original album, as well as a newly compiled LP of bonus tracks. The Lennon Estate and Record Store Day have partnered up to release this new exclusive limited edition 4-track 12-inch EP release as a teaser to the forthcoming ultimate edition of the anniversary release of Mind Games by John Lennon. This extremely limited edition uh, EP is offered in two color variants. That's going to be a luminous glow-in-the-dark or a black vinyl version for Record Store Day 2024. Personally, that glow-in-the-dark sounds fantastic, so definitely interested in the possibility of picking this one up if I can find it. But like I said, it's extremely limited edition and it might be hard to find in store out in the wild on the big day. Formed by Andrew and Kevin Wood, Malfunction were crucial to the formative years of the underground grunge scene alongside bands like The Human and The Melvins, and Olympus Awaits is the definitive compilation of all things Malfunction recordings. It includes the Return to Olympus album here on vinyl for the first time ever, as well as some very early demo recordings which feature some more urgent, fast-paced punk and hardcore so style songs that are only featured on compilations previously only, so really cool to have this release, very much encapsulating a lot of the definitive releases in the Malfunction catalog and some stuff that's been hard to get your hands on in the past. This is a limited, numbered, black and red splatter vinyl release of the new live album that captures Mr. Big's 2023 performance at the Budokan in Japan, where the band performed the entire Lean Into It album in its entirety. The release also comes with a four-page booklet featuring unreleased photos from the performance, plus brand new liner notes. The Reprise Years by Mud Honey is a new 5LP box set featuring three Reprise studio albums and an EP from the Godfathers of Grunge, as well as two bonus LPs of live tracks, B-sides, and unreleased demos, all making their debut on vinyl for the first time ever. This limited set includes the first North American pressing of their Reprise debut, Piece of Cake. Liner notes written by Keith Cameron, author of the book Mud Honey, The Sound and Fury from Seattle, and also new artwork included in the box set as well, so very cool. 5LPs here by Mud Honey, very interesting release for sure. Great new box set. 
More picture discs here. The Offspring 7 Studio Album, Splinter, was originally released in 2003. The Gold Certified Album has been out of print on vinyl for over a decade, but now this 20th Anniversary Edition is presented on a 12-inch picture disc for Record Store Day, so very cool pickup for fans of The Offspring. This work-in-progress version of the Alan Parsons Project's iconic Pyramid album contains all the early demos, rough mixes, and Eric Wolfson's songwriting diary versions of the nine tracks that appear on the Pyramid album. Six of these tracks are previously unreleased, and all of them are making their first appearance on vinyl. Housed in a poly-lined inner sleeve with an accompanying 12x12 insert, this orange vinyl LP is strictly limited to 4,200 worldwide, so definitely going to be scarce to find copies. Pearl Jam's newest studio album, Dark Matter, will be released on April 19th, one day before Record Store Day, but will also be available on the big day, an exclusive yellow and black ghostly Dark Matter LP colorway for RSD 2024. Stay tuned to the channel, by the way. We've been covering all things Dark Matter here, so I'll definitely be reviewing the new album. Maybe I'll even get my hands on the uh, Record Store Day variant as well. We'll have to see, but definitely going to be reviewing Dark Matter just a day before Record Store Day, in addition to the RSD coverage I'm going to be providing all throughout the next week. More than four decades after it first appeared on Queen's 10th studio album, Hot Space, the track Cool Cat is being released on a limited edition 7-inch pink vinyl single exclusively for Record Store Day 2024, making its debut as an A-side. This marks the seventh single from the 1982 album by Queen, and the B-side features a previously unreleased brand new instrumental mix of the track as well. 2024 marks the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Ramones, and this collection, the 1975 Sire demos, features some of their earliest known studio recordings for Sire Records, many of which would later be found on their debut album from 1976, as well as a handful of rare tracks here, all produced by Tommy Ramone. Probably the one release I'm most looking forward to for Record Store Day in the rock category here. Let's go with Live at Racket by the Rolling Stones next. Live from New York City, the band performed a launch event on October 19th, 2023 in promotion of their most recent studio album, Hackney Diamonds. And this performance features live debuts of tracks like Angry, Bite My Head Off, Whole Wide World, and Sweet Sounds of Heaven. Previously only available as a bonus disc on the two-CD live edition of Hackney Diamonds, it now gets its own release available on heavyweight solid white vinyl for Record Store Day 2024. That's not all for the Rolling Stones here. To celebrate 60 years since the original release, the Rolling Stones UK edition is being released in a special bespoke package exclusively for Record Store Day, pressed on blue and black swirled vinyl. Uh, and this limited edition release includes a lithograph with images by Terry O'Neill and a stamp numbering on the jacket. This is an exclusive edition of Ringo Starr's new EP, Crooked Boy, for Record Store Day this year. Crooked Boy was written and produced by Linda Perry and will be available on exclusive limited edition black and white marble vinyl. A two-track Record Store Day 2024 release commemorating U2's globally acclaimed residence at the Sphere in Las Vegas, available for the first time physically, pressed on transparent red vinyl with a poster included, and this is limited edition. 1976's The Story of the Who, a compilation that's never been officially released in the United States and hasn't been globally available on vinyl since 1989. Sometimes regarded as the complete best of of The Who, this version with a replica of the original eight-page booklet and pressed on colored vinyl of pink and green, uh, was mastered by longtime Who engineer John Astley. So look at the track listing. It's a very complete set uh, excuse me, track list there. So very exciting stuff here. And again, like I, like I said before, never been officially released in the United States. So pretty cool to have it here for Record Store Day. Five Live Yardbirds, their first uh, live album from 1964, contains some of Eric Clapton's earliest recordings. It was recorded at the legendary Marquee Club in London, and this deluxe package includes color vinyl, an OB side spine, and printed inner sleeve. Previously unreleased, a full performance here from the Yes album tour in 1971, recorded live at the Yell Ball in New Haven, Connecticut on July 24th, 1971. This limited edition LP features raw performances of classic tracks like I've Seen All Good People, Yours is No Disgrace, and more. 
Last one here, we have Zappa for president. In case you didn't notice, we were going in alphabetical order. So, of course, we finished with Z with Zappa here. 2016 compilation showcasing Frank Zappa's political side featuring unreleased compositions combined with other selections from the vault available for the first time on vinyl for Record Store Day. This two LP set is pressed on red, white, and blue splattered vinyl with three sides of music and a silk screened uh, Frank Zappa image on side D. So, there you have it. Your ultimate rock guide to Record Store Day 2024. I did all the homework for you guys so all you have to do here is watch this video and pick which releases you're interested in buying for the big day so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel down below i'll be covering record store day all week here on the channel please be sure to subscribe for more of that content i'll be doing probably a lot of unboxings things like that for record store day maybe even a vlog for the first time on the channel so a lot's coming up definitely want to turn on notifications so you don't miss it and be sure to let me down in the comment section below which of these releases best sticks out to you and what will you be buying on record store day biggest thing here support local record Record stores, go to the record store on RSD and buy something. Support local record stores. Very, very important. So that's what I'll leave you with here. Until next time, it's the CD guy, Johnny Z, signing off. Take care, everybody.